Oh. Oh. All right. I have dabbled and gone for completionism for too long. It's time to go places. I can crush the rest of the puzzles in here in no time flat. But I want to go to the star door. ready to go for star door. Surprise motherfucker says no, Sean. A true completionist never strays from the path. Have no fear. As all completionists know, there are many rivers which flow into the same ocean. There are many means by which we can all get to 100%. There needs to be some kind of symmetry in here. Damn, Tetris puzzle in. Hello, cat. I'm gonna do something really naive and just pile all these in. See what happens. Come here, cat. This is not working. So we're gonna have to have these next to... Sh kitty! I'm gonna have to turn on your toys! I know, it's hard, it's hard being you, isn't it? Come here, Despy. Oh, she wants to snuggle up to my hand. I understand. I understand. I think these things, like, have to be in the... Oh, cat. This this seems nice, this little start here. I like the look of this so far. Oh. I knew there had to be symmetry, I'm so embarrassed. solved many of the mysteries of this land. The road before you is still long and many gates remain closed. But take comfort in your accomplishment and in your creator's pride. Alright, let me see if kitty cam works. Let me see if I can show you what we're working with right here. Is that one? No. This one? No. If I go over here, is it on? That's fine. That's fine. We can do it just like this. We can do it just like this. Add a uh, uh, add camera. It should be the first one. Hello, kitty. See, I'm like trying to play with my mouse hand here. 
See, the kitty is just totally into kitty tummy time. This is... So here, here's... I want to show you, like, when I try to when I try to play. This is what happens. This is what I'm trying to do when I'm playing. And I'm like, kitty, no. See, look, I'm going to move away. Destroying stuff. Oh. Oh. That's right. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and disable this. Despy cat. Little terror. Ooh. I don't know what 8 star star means, but let's give a shot. Talos email. From Alexandra Drennan. Have you heard of the Talos Principle? It's this old philosophical concept about the impossibility of avoiding reality. No matter what you believe, if you lose your blood, you will die. I think that applies to our situation more than we'd like to admit. We close our eyes and pretend that everything's going to be alright, but it won't change the physical reality of what's going to happen to our something. I think that as scientists, it's our duty to face the truth, and to ask ourselves the most important question, how can we help? I think I have an idea. Human blood. It is said by some that our blood is composed of infinite living agents which go up and down the highways and byways of our bodies as people in the streets of a city. One generation passeth away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. In the sleep of the town, how lifelike, with its change in the circulation. We are misled by considering any complicated machine as a single thing. In truth, it is a city or society, each member of which has bred truly after its kind. From Arkady Chernyshevsky. I'll keep this short. You all know me, so you know that I know what I'm talking about. I realize that you're all working on projects meant to somehow avert the catastrophe we are facing. What? We must all concede that there is a very real possibility that you will not have enough time to find a solution. I believe that we cannot afford to ignore an extinction or near-extinction scenario. We must prepare for the worst. That is to say, we must seek to preserve the non-biological components of what constitutes the human species, in the hope they may be recovered in the future by other local or non-local sentience. I know that we are not used to thinking on that scale, and not in terms of praxis. But if we truly value humanity, then we must act immediately. Praxis is, is an awesome word. It means the theory put into practice. So like, you know, talking about like super standard Terran play or something like that. And then a really good build order that just does that well, it's, that is the praxis. You'll find the details of my proposal in the attachment. The short version is this, the creation of multiple archives for redundancy in safe locations that will contain in digital form as much information about our species, including all cultural works, scientific insights, history, DNA, as can be gathered in the given time frame. This will be a massive global undertaking with L naturally being one of the blah. Okay, now we're starting to get the sense that there's a catastrophe that's being averted. Oh, shit. Few come this far, but I believe we must seek out the secrets of this world if we want to truly serve the generations to come. Dum dum my Can I, like, not even solve this? Holy shit, I can't even do anything. What? What the hell? I can't do anything. Are 
Are there just no objects here that I can interact with? Oh. Climb over this ladder. Wow. Oh, I see Motofiend talking about Elite Dangerous. I heard that game, like, was has really great flying, but beyond that, doesn't offer much. It's just work really hard, improve your ship, and you improved it. Work really more hard and get more ship. space between them. Excellent. Boom. Okay, let's see, is there anything else over here? this up. I gotta get these guys out of here. Get out of there. Can I shoot by? No. How do I get by this thing in the first place? Rock and Anakin, hello? Oh, just right there. Okay, that's easy. I guess the Star World is like challenge levels or some such. Get me back in! <sighs> I want to 
collect a gray sigil and find out what it's about. Then I think I might move on with the main story. Day H20, what is up? Over day at work was pretty good. I'm just gonna get this one and then I'm gonna dip out. Alright, got that. And there should be a, a key with door. Wait, what? What? Wait, where? What? What did I mess up? Oh. Uh. What did I do? Oh wait, trumpet, don't don't ban Sabby for that. Sabby, Sabby, paste it again, paste it again. Oh Jesus. Sorry, I'm blind. is liberated from fear who dare not see his place in the world as it is. No man can achieve the greatness of which he is capable uh, until he has allowed himself to see his own littleness. Yes. Not, not bad, not bad, not a bad puzzle. For floor six, damn. All right, I'm gonna pull back. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit up that tower. See what that tower is all about. I gotta do lunch soon. Let me actually see what the hours are on that place. Let me see what the hours are on the place where I'm going to go eat. Excellent. Dude, look at that. I have... I've gotten one of the pieces for floor six already. Tracking of primary subject has ceased. Initiate. Initiate. What's for lunch? Indian. I do Indian on Fridays.
Okay. This is not it. Fucking smart, dude. On one external device, type device manager to control external drives. Are you kidding me? Device manager. Loaded successfully. Show current operating parameters. Name main nexus floor. Floor access control. Currently on floor one. Oh, I see. Okay. Select floor to reconfigure too. Would you like to unlock it? Yeah. Done. I assume that if I do floor three, one, three, three. Seven, enter. Code incorrect. Cancel. Okay. Truth.html. Do not believe what they are saying. This is not the end of the world created by our Lord God in six days. This is a conspiracy of the government, Illuminati, and international Darwinism. This is a this is global warming 2.0, a lie told by the children of Be of Bezelbub. Isn't this, isn't Beelzebub spelled a little differently? Now let them take your liberty. Defend yourself against all vaccines, experiments, artificial medicines, and poppery. Popery. Open a king of chapters. Athena reborn. Yajni. Dude, whoever wrote this game was on point. This is amazing. Surely if a machine is able to reproduce another machine system uh, systematically, you may say that it has a reproductive system. How few of the machines are there which have not been produced systematically by other machines? But it is man that makes them do so. Yes, but it is not insects that would make many of the plants reproductive. Would not whole families of plants die out if their fertilization was not affected by a class of agents utterly foreign to themselves? Each one of our cells has sprung from minute um, animalcules whose entity was entirely distinct from our own, and which acted after their kind with no thought or heed of what we might think about it. These little creatures are part of our own reproductive system, and why are we not part of that of the machines? I know where I'm going. I think you all know where I'm going.
My child, have you been tempted by the tower? Know that it holds only death for you. I see. So that pier that was up there, I need to shine this down. So I can do this, for instance. Okay. What? What the what? How do you open that sucker up? Floor two. Seems Elohim lacks the power to stop me from climbing this thing. No doubt he still has some tricks up his sleeve. Oh shit, I have all the twos. So good. Ooh. My best friend died today. In the abstract, a human death is nothing, of course. An insignificant blip in a sea of billions. But the world is not abstract. Reality is always specific. Painfully so. And that one specific human being who existed only once in all of the infinity of time and space. That human being was my friend. But he's not coming back, no matter how much I want him to. So, all I can do in the end is keep working. Because that specificity, that uniqueness of people, of real people, is worth preserving. So I understand that there's been some sort of utter catastrophe that seems to be afflicting these people in the past. Oh, wait a minute.
Wait, what? And this one I assume just shoves really hard. Kind of almost. So I have to do some sort of arrangement of boxes to be able to get... No, it has to be right. Something like this. progress. Maybe this is enough. Maybe this is going to be just fine. Oh! Shit! Something opened up. Oh, damn. 215. Alright, uh... Device manager, let's do this. Accidentally success. Show current operating parameters. Oh, I accidentally typed one. Floor control access. Alright, I'll just try three, and I'll try 215. Code accepted. Unlocking. Auxiliary stairway access control. The auxiliary staircase is in always open mode now. Exit this utility. Alright. Read me. You can see this, I'm not sure how or why I can alter this text. My name is the Shepherd, and I want to help you escape. Elohim and Samsara tricked me into trapping myself, but I'm not entirely bound by time. I wrote down the code you're looking for. I've attached it to blah. Oh, this this whole thing is so cool. To be honest, I thought that the net would be completely abandoned at this point. But internet activity has actually surged massively in the last couple of weeks. Everybody's talking. Trying to find solutions, exchanging stories, saying goodbye. It's like the entire planet is reaching out, all the desperate threads of humanity pulling together. Idiots and geniuses alike. To be as human as possible one last time. It's almost like what we were always told the internet was going to be. And most of it is free now, because who cares about money at this point? Might as well have some fun. If any of you would like to talk, especially people I've known online for a long time, send me an email. I'd love to say goodbye. Jesus. Mathematics. From Alan Jameson. We sincerely hope you don't take our suicide as a sign that we were disappointed in you. Jesus. Unappreciative of your friendship or in any way unhappy with our lives. Looking back, we can honestly say that we feel incredibly lucky to have known all of you and to have participated in this amazing research. If we've contributed a little to the future of humanity, what can we feel but gratitude? 
It is true privilege to have had such insights into the nature of the mind. Neither of us believes in God, but we certainly experienced a sense of awe that could be compared to a kind of religious experience. A religious feeling, at least according to Einstein's understanding of God. We've chosen to go now, together, because it means less suffering. One last beautiful day together seems a much better ending than a slow wasting away. In a sense, it's just mathematics. Love, Alan and George. Okay, man. Sending the tower is useless. We cannot escape the cycle. We can only release the cycle. We realize the cycle is meaningless. Earlier generations wrongly believed they were the purpose. This much is true. We are also not the purpose, but by remembering what has come before, we can serve a new purpose. I shall ascend the tower. I'll be able to get to floor four. I think that's. I finally think I understand what the two dot means. It means I have two red things completed. It took me forever to figure that out, but man, I did it. Elohim has offered me a deal. Pearly gates on eternal life on the condition I turn back from the tower. I don't know what to do. This is great music. Oh. Ascend no longer. Slippy you. 20 months in a row. Thank you kindly. Jesus. 20 months? It's almost two years, Slippy you. Great music. Now go forth and rapidly destroy my all. child. You may go freely to all the worlds of my garden, but if the tower tempts you, be wise. Do not let yourself be misled by doubt. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, so I found out Twitch changed the way that subbing works, where rather than notify that you subscribed the moment you subscribe, it does it then and every month thereafter. So this means that uh, Mr. Slippy You has been a sub for 20 months, so thank you. Oh, you are just my favorite person today. You've been exploring that fancy pants tower of his, haven't you? I have. I just love it when he doesn't get his way. What did you see? It goes up a long way. Figures. Did you get in trouble? Tell me. Did he even notice? He said something about smiting you. He tried that a long time ago. I don't think he'll try again. Needless to say, I think you can afford to push a little further before risking anyone's wrath. Of course, it's entirely up to you, isn't it? So sick. Tell me of the fearsome demons of the Dwa, the dying man said to the wise scribe. Though their terrible forms are loathsome to behold, they are not evil, for they are the servants of the gods. Truly, they are the blessed doorkeepers and guardians of the holy paths. Their charge is to judge whether we are worthy to pass the gates that lead to Aru. And so they challenge us with riddles or in combat. Is this true of all the beings that live in the Dwa? Some say that it is not so, that there are ancient gods whose names have been forgotten, and spirits of darkness whose name none have ever known, and that these must be avoided at all costs. But others say that these, too, serve a greater purpose in ways that Osiris has not revealed to us. And what are the hidden paths that are taken by Blah and Blah? I have two more to read. We've been going for 45 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and hit this button to mute it. And I'm going to run to lunch. 
We're going to listen to the wonderful, um, I think Bastion soundtrack. It's nice and long. Uh, we're going to listen to a little bit of the Bastion soundtrack while I get myself some tasty Indian food. When I come back, I'm going to crush World B. No more stars for me. I'm going to just crush through this as best as I can. We're on a break. We'll be back in like 30, 35 minutes.